Alright guys, uh, next video here we're doing knee range of motion. Um, so we've got knee flexion and extension to do. Now for your practice exam, all the range of motion measures you guys will do will be active. The only exception is for knee extension, we're going to show you the passive version as well. Okay? So we'll start with knee flexion first. We've got Jack in prone position, so he's lying face down. Um, the three landmarks that we need for knee flexion and extension. Our fixed arm is going to be along the axis of the femur. The axis of rotation is going to be the knee joint centre, so we tend to use the lateral epicondyle as our marker. And then our movable arm is going to be along the axis of his lower leg, so pretty much along that line of the fibula, which is obviously on the outside of his lower leg. So using those three landmarks, basically from this position, I'm just going to ask Jack to flex his knee as much as he can. Jack, when you're ready. And then using those three landmarks, that I've identified, I'm going to take a measure here, pull that off, and just relax in there. Now I've got two values here, I've got about 60 degrees and 120 degrees. Um, we know that line full knee extension is anatomic position, so that's zero, which means this is 90, which means this is more than 90. Okay? So I'm going to go with a bigger value here and accept 120 degrees as my answer. Now for knee extension, I'm going to get Jack to line on his back. Now for this one, I'm actually going to get Jack to start with his hip flex at um, 90 degrees. This is pretty much his side, just wants to be pointing straight up and down. Um, I'm going to get him to keep his ankle plantar flex as well throughout. That just helps stop the gastro from wounding. Usually when we do knee extension, we're trying to make our hamstrings a limiting factor. And what I'm going to do first is active knee extension. So in this case, the extension of the knee, that's actually going to come from Jack himself. The landmarks are going to be exactly the same as the knee flexion. Okay. So I'll get Jack, I'm going to help him get into the right position here. Then once he's in that position, I can actually ask Jack to just wrap his hands around his thigh for me. Okay. And that's going to help him keep that femur in the same position. And as he goes through the range of motion, I'm going to just keep an eye on his thigh and make sure it actually stays in the right position. Alright, so Jack, when you're ready, um, just extend that knee. Beautiful. Once he's in that top position, I'm going to make sure my landmarks line up. Nice and good. Go. And pull that off. And again, we've got a big value and a small value. A big value says 145. A small value says 35. Now, if you think about it, full knee extension, okay, so if you've got this knee all the way straight, that would be zero degrees. So it's kind of tricky with knee extension. The more range of motion you get, the smaller value you're going to get because you're getting closer and closer to the anatomic position. So in this case, we're going to accept the small value, and that's going to be 35 degrees. Okay. Now, with knee extension, um, this is one of the circumstances where using an inclinometer can actually be really useful, especially when it comes to passive knee extension. Okay. So I'm actually going to sub this going on right now, and I'm going to grab myself the inclinometer. Okay. So when we do passive knee extension, I've actually got to move his uh, knee through the range of motion myself. And it's a lot harder to actually control the going on when I'm doing that. Using the knee climate is going to make things a lot easier. Okay. So we're actually going to get Jack to go in the same position as before. He's going to get his thigh to 90 degrees. I'm going to help guide him there. He wraps his hands around his thigh to hold himself in that position. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by holding Jack's knee at about 90 degrees. And I'm just going to make sure that when I place the inclinometer on a shank, that the value that it reads is actually 90 degrees. Okay? So when I put it on this surface, it says 0 degrees, but we know that that angle there, based on the anatomic position, that's actually 90 degrees. So if I use the other surface, so this one here, now the inclinometer says 90 degrees, and as I move through the range of motion, it gets closer and closer to 0 degrees, which is what we want. Okay, we're going to move him until he can't really do any more, or until I feel resistance. Okay, and then I can look at the value there, which here says 40 degrees, which is pretty close to what we got with the active knee extension as well. So that gives me a little bit of confidence that I did everything right. And that's how we do knee extension. That was the passive version. We did the active version before with the goniometer, and we did knee flexion as well. Now keep in mind, I've shown you passive knee extension with the inclinometer. Um, you are allowed to use the going on as well if you want to. It's not going to really affect your marks. It's just that the inclinometer is going to be easier for you guys to use. 